With live dynamic data and a wide array of style kits, Sprinkler presentations help you to create beautiful up-to-date decks in no time. In this video, you'll learn how to create, style, and share presentations. You can access presentations from the visualization section here in Sprinkler Social. You'll first see all your existing presentations with the most recently edited at the top here. And in the top right, you can click here to access your style kit library. Back in the main window, click here to create a new presentation. You'll first need to choose a name and then pick a style kit as the basis for your design. There are several to choose from and you can always tweak the look as you go. Then you need to set the screen layout from the options provided. Let's pick landscape and click confirm. The next screen shows you the template library where you can choose a starting point for your first slide. Along the top, you can choose between charts, content and other templates. For now, let's choose this chart type here. When choosing a widget, you'll need to pick the data engine. And if you'd like, you can fine tune this by filling in the following fields. The dynamic data presented in these widgets remains up to date without any manual refreshing by you or by anyone else who views the presentation at a later date. Once you've added your first widget, you can fine tune exactly what is showing by using the data tab. In this case, you can set time periods, add extra metrics or change how the data is grouped. Let's set this one to day of the week to get an idea of how engagement is spread out. After this, you can begin to think about visuals by moving and resizing the widget like this. And by clicking here, you have access to all of the widget design tools. You can change the color, the fonts, and make many more widget specific adjustments as you like. By clicking here, you can add new widgets from the categories we saw before. Let's add some rich text. And on the right, you can see the layout options available per widget. Here you can arrange your widgets with pixel precision and by deselecting a widget, you'll see the layout options for the whole slide. Once you're happy, click save and head back to the main presentation editor. You can add new slides at the bottom of the page here. And by hovering over the options menu here, you can manage your slides and even set transitions between slides like this. By clicking here, you can access further settings and controls, such as adding headers and footers, adding a watermark and much more. Now, once you've built your presentation, you can click here to present it directly in a new tab with controls available to move back and forward at the bottom of the screen. Back in the main view, you can also choose to share your presentation. You can do so via a URL at the top with corresponding controls for that URL here. This will ensure the data that is seen in the deck remains up to date and live without any regular adjustments needed. Then at the bottom of this section, you have some other export options. The embed code and export config options provide you with two more live data options. Clicking export config will download a JSON file and clicking embed code will take you to this screen where you can specify exactly how you'd like the presentation to appear when embedded in another site. The other two share options here don't support live data. So the data that appears in PowerPoint or PDF downloads will reflect the date on when they were downloaded. If you'd like further information on presentations, you can check out the knowledge portal. To find it, click your user icon in the top right, choose platform help, and then knowledge portal. From here, you can use the search bar to find the information you're looking for. In this video, you've learned how to create new presentations in the Sprinkler platform. Thanks for watching.